Connected cars are the future of driving. That was one of the main messages of the annual smartphone extravaganza, which is the World Mobile Congress in Barcelona. The race is on to develop technology that will enable cars to drive themselves or at least improve the driving experience. Volvo's keyless car works using a dedicated phone app. We have a Bluetooth system in the car that is listening to the phone that could position you to make sure that as you approach the car it will recognize you and it will grant you access to the car. So you don't have to have a physical car key if you don't want to. We will not stop making physical car keys, but this is an additional service that you could have. As the system prepares to enter its pilot period, a number of questions remain unanswered, like what to do if your phone runs out of battery, or in a worst case scenario, if you lose it. But the Swedish car manufacturer says there are major advantages for users. You could send a key. So when I'm in Barcelona, I could send my car key to my wife in Gothenburg, for instance, so that she could use the car. And then you can receive a key. So as I travel into Barcelona, I can now book a car with the app and I don't have to wait at the rental car service for a physical car key. I could just go to the car and enter it. It will take at least another year before this technology hits the market. Volvo will be testing it in the coming months on a number of commercial cars. We will start a pilot this spring and then we will use our car sharing company Sunfleet for that pilot and then we have uh, international employees flying in mainly from Belgium and Ghent where we have operations and they will be given access to to this app so that they can book a car and drive it from the airport. By 2022, 345 million vehicles worldwide will be connected to the internet, according to consulting firm IHS Automotive, which predicts that in six years, 98% of the cars sold globally will be connected. A trend driven by demand, three in four consumers say connected car services are an important feature. We at Harman believe that this is a car of the future. Uh, autonomous driving will be very normal in a couple of years. What we could achieve with autonomous cars is that the traffic is more fluent, that it is more safe, that it is more silent, it is more fuel efficient. So many aspects speak for autonomous driving in certain circumstances. The industry is expected to undergo fundamental change as semi-autonomous driving emerges, eventually leading to full autonomous driving. Car makers that have always seen themselves as product suppliers will take on a new identity as providers of mobility services. There are a lot of new things the system has to do to uh, allow autonomous driving. So first of all, connectivity. The car has to be always connected to the internet. Secondly, navigation. The navigation has to be much more precise than it was ever before. And the other thing is, what, what is very helpful, if the system predicts what you want. So this makes a lot of inputs unnecessary. So if the car starts in the morning and it already knows where you are heading, this makes any input into the system unnecessary. The question is, who will conquer the fast-growing connected car business? To fend off the threat from technology giants like Apple and Google, car makers are expected to strike deals and seriously increase R&D spending to get ahead.